Um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. Um, today I'm doing, I'm cooking tea, but I'm also going to be making a few frozen dinners. And so we're doing lasagna. So instead of doing one big tray, I'm going to do three little trays. One we're going to eat for tea tonight and the other two I'm going to put in the freezer. Um, and we can have it another night. Um, and because that, that'll be very handy to have um, the lasagna cooked. But the other reason I'm doing it is there's only two of us in this house. Um, and um, it's a big plate of, it's a big tray of lasagna, this one it makes. It's the one out of the basic cookbook, the lasagna bolognese, and it makes a big serve. So I like, um, what I usually do is make it in the big tray and then cut it into four and freeze those three. And then we just eat that quarter. But today I'm going to, um, I'm going to do it like this from the word go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the pasta. So, um, I've already saved it to my week. I've saved the lasagna bolognese and the fresh pasta dough. So, I mean, all the dough is is flour, eggs, and oil, I think, I'm sure. Okay, so let's start off with the flour. Okay. I've had the Thermomix going all day. I've been working on a recipe. Um, I was so happy with that one pot jam recipe that I decided that I would take my tomato sweet chilli sauce, was, yes, tomato sweet chilli sauce recipe and see if I could get it down to just, you know, one or two bottles. Um, and make it in the Thermomix rather than a big pot on the stove and share that with you. So that's what I've been doing. I've been um, playing with the recipe all day, different cooking temperatures, um, different amounts of water. Um, and that's the only thing I've changed is the amount of water and the cooking temperatures because I don't want to interfere with the ratios within the recipe. Anyway. When, when I get it sorted, I'll, um, I'll share it with you. Okay, 200 grams of plain flour. And a little bit more. Um, because, but I'm gonna start off with this and get it going because um, I'm running a little bit late and so this has got to rest. I don't know how long it rests for, but um, it rests before you roll it out. So I thought I'd get the pasta made and then I'll get everything together for the, um, the meat sauce and the white sauce. So, two eggs. Um, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which um, I'm gonna to go to my scales and I'm gonna weigh in 20 grams. Next, and then we're going to put the lid on um, with the measuring cup, and we're going to knead it for two minutes using the dough function. Right now, so I don't know if I've said this in a while, but um, all the thermomixers have all the breeds of thermomixers um, have the dough function, and. Um, it's a bit of a bouncy mode, so you've got to stay with it. We don't want to, our beautiful thermomix to bounce, you know, get, get a bit off, set, off balance, bounce and land on the floor. Um, so right away, I'll be back when this is finished kneading. I'm going to dust this with flour.
Okay, so I thought I would come back here. This, that is what the dough should look like. We don't want it a, it should look crumbly. So we're gonna transfer it onto a lightly floured silicon bread mat. So when you make pasta, if you get to this stage and your um, pasta dough looks like that, that is correct. That's what it's supposed to look like. Right again. I can't remember if we make the white sauce first or the meat sauce. I'm inclined to make the white sauce first. Um, just because then I won't have to um, wash the bowl. So we're just going to gather it all up into a ball and then wrap in a silicon bread mat and leave to rest for 15 minutes. So it doesn't have to be a silicon bread mat. I mean, you can put it in a bowl and wrap it in, in you know, cover it with plastic wrap or wrap it in glad wrap or, but oh, I have a silicon bread mat. And that is what I'm going to do. And it just needs to relax. Oh, yeah. And then, um, Um, it said, then it says to roll out and boil, or it tells you all the different ways you can use it. Um, but that's it. That's that's it for me. Um, I'll roll this out and get it into the right shape for those little foil tins, um, and then I'll just put it in the the lasagna. I won't cook it. Oh yeah. Okay. So, and it, we go. You go through, and it tells you how to make all the different pastas um, and how the different shapes. So um, if you've got Thermomix and you have a look at your basic cookbook, um, it gives you instructions on different pasta shapes. 98. So now we're gonna go to the lasagna bolognese. Oh, it's updating. It says to start cooking. Um, it says 100 to 200 grams of Parmesan cheese cut into pieces. Right here, so... Mm, okay, I'll rinse, I'll wash my bowl. Right here. One clean, dry mixing bowl. And I've gathered up my veggies while I'm at it. So it says 100 to 200 grams of Parmesan cheese. So I've just got a 200 gram block and it's been cut into like cubes, they say three centimetre pieces. Um, so it, it will be less than that, but, and it's 194 grams. And then we put the lid on um, using the measuring cup. 15 seconds, speed 10. Bowl and set aside. I have a feeling we've got to clean and dry the mixing bowl. So that is our. I just think it's like when I was a newlywed, we used to buy, I mean, my kids used to call it stinky cheese, but the the um, shelf stable craft parmesan cheese in the shaker bottle. And now, I mean, I wouldn't eat anything other than fresh. Anyway, so I'm gonna wash this and I'll be back. Okay, clean and dry. So when you clean and dry your mixing bowl, you've got to make sure that if, you, if these pegs get wet, that you wipe them really well. 
um, 200 grams of mixed vegetables. Now this recipe calls for 800 grams of mince. Now I've only got 500 grams of mince, but I wanna add some extra vegetables. So I don't know, I haven't weighed these, but hopefully it'll be more than 200 grams. So I've got a handful of garlic. It doesn't say garlic, but um, onion, I did think I could do an extra onion if I am um, a bit underweight. But I think I should be close. And you don't have to cut them this small because we're going to mince them anyway with the So that was um, a capsicum, a handful of garlic cloves, um, a brown onion, two carrots, and some celery. And all I did, all I did was I used what, and it's actually 555 grams, so spot on. Um, 40 grams of olive oil. lid on. I didn't rinse that, but anyway, it was just a bit of grated cheese. Five seconds, speed seven. Okay, now it says to place the simmering basket on instead of the lid. So I'll just show you that. That was five seconds, speed seven. Beautiful. That smells divine. And we're going to cook that for five minutes at 120 degrees with the speed on speed two. I'll get the simmering basket and I'll put it on top and then I'll be back. Right, we're just waiting for the veggies to finish cooking. And then we're going to add the mince. Okay, so it says 800 grams of minced meat, 400 grams of pork and 400 grams of beef. This is a mixed pork and veal mince. Um, I had some, I bought some earlier in the year and this is, it was really good price and this is the last of it. So let's go tear, it's supposed to be 500 grams. 80. There's a bit of blood there, so use the spatula to break up any big pieces. Show you that. I'm trying to use up all the meat I have in my freezer um, before Christmas. So um, we're nearly there. We've got a few things left like a couple of roasts and that, um, and a lot of pork chops. I can't believe how many pork chops we've got. Anyway, this was our last packet of mint, so this was using it up. And now it says to place the lid on 
with the simmering basket, eight minutes at 120 degrees, um, speed one with the blade in reverse. Oh yeah. And I was gonna roll this out, but what I'm going to do is put my iPad on charge while this is cooking, and I'll roll the pasture out um, a bit later because it's getting quite flat and I, I tend to lose, like it'll stop videoing and I'll miss big gaps. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put my, throw my iPad on charge for eight minutes and I'll be back. Okay. So that's that step. And now we're gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients. So we've got 100 grams of dry white wine. Now if you don't wanna add wine, you can add water or you can add stock. Um, doesn't have to be wine, you can add tomato juice. Now we're going to add the, put the lid on. Another five minutes at 100 degrees, speed one in reverse. Okay, so it says 400 gram can of crushed tomatoes. So I've actually got, I think these are diced tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. So that'll be fine. I usually like the um, Admona ones that have got the really thick um, juice in them, but um, I've got um, black and gold today. One to one and a half teaspoons of salt. Let's just go with one. Um, a half to a teaspoon of ground pepper. Black ground, ground black pepper, and then it says to put the lid back on. And now we're going to cook it for 20 minutes at 100 degrees um, with the blade in reverse on the slower speed. Oh, yeah, so while that's happening, I'm going to. Um, pop my iPad back on the charger and I'm going to roll out the, the pasta into sheets. I'm going to use my pasta roller thing. Okay. Now it says transfer the mint, the mint, the mint into a bowl and set aside. Look and here come the flies. Warm. Okay. There's my hands in the way. Get lost, fly. Okay. Now it says to clean and dry the mixing bowl. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the rest of the mints out of here. And I'll give the bowl a quick rinse out and then we'll be back to make the bechamel sauce. Ready? Ready? So that was a quick rinse and a wipe out. Um, and we will go on with the white sauce. So it's a litre of milk or a thousand grams of milk. Perfect. Um, 80 grams of butter softened. Price of butter nowadays, it's probably we're well, probably nearly back to um, it being cheaper to make it from cream. So we 
we went through a stage where it was just really expensive um, to make your own butter. But um, yeah, butter's so dear. 80 grams of butter. And this is just unsalted butter. And it's, um, it's, um, it's not softened, it's just out of the fridge. So I am cutting it up a little bit smaller. You probably don't have to do this, but um, I actually don't mind doing it. It's quite um, therapeutic, chopping things up into little tiny pieces. We want some plain flour. Um, 90 grams. Okay. And a teaspoon of salt. nutmeg in it too. But I'm going to skip the nutmeg. There it is. One to two pinches of ground nutmeg. Now the lid on. I want the simmering basket um, instead of the measuring cup on the mixing bowl. 10 minutes, 100 degrees, speed three. What I am going to do is I'm going to pop the lid on. Um, and then go back to here. And I'm going to give it a whiz on about speed four, just to mix the flour through. Now you don't have to do that. Um, it's just something that I like to do when I'm making a um, a sauce like that, a flour, a sauce that's thickened for flour. Right here. That's 10 minutes. So, um, while that meat sauce was cooking, I rolled my lasagna out. So it's just, um, I've just got a little bit of flour between each sheet and I've got it wrapped in the thermo mat so it doesn't, um, dry out too much. I don't mind if it dries out a little bit. Um, but we don't want it to dry out too much. And I'll be back when this is finished cooking and we'll assemble our lasagnas. Okay, so I've got everything together and it says to preheat the oven to 180 and I'll do that soon. I'm not quite ready to, for it to go in the oven, but um, once we've assembled it, um, I'll look at what time I want to put the oven on. I'm um, lightly grease a casserole dish and set aside. So I'm going to go and spray it. I'll just grab some cooking spray. Perfect. Um, so first of all, we need a thin layer of sauce on the bottom. One of them, and maybe that. Mm, that smells amazing. generally try and get, um, it's a bit chunky, but I try not to get too many chunks in this bottom, just a smidge over the bottom of the pan. Okay. 
Okay. Then we're going to get the pasta out and we're going to put a layer of pasta. Okay. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. So. Just like that. I did chop that off a bit short, but anyway. No, I like how this. Um, just covers. Oh, go away, flies. It's the right width and everything. Okay. Righty A. Um, cover with another layer of sauce and some cheese. usually like to get four layers of, of pasta in a lasagna. But we'll just see what, how we go. And some cheese. We want yeah, bechamel sauce right here. Move this. Get lost flies. And that is our bechamel sauce. Delicious. So how are we going to do this? A spoon or something to throw a ladle here we go. Pasta, mince, pasta, mince, cheese, what was it, um, pasta, mince, cheese and bechamel sauce, so let's do that. They just, oops, those sheets fit perfectly. Mince. Two layers of pasta. Right, yeah. Cheese. 
cheese. I do love the Thermomix for making bechamel sauce. It's always lump free. one layer of pasta for each left. So this will be the last layer of mince. Bechamel sauce. And we're going to keep some bechamel sauce to go on the top of that glass layer of pasta. Finish with a layer of bechamel sauce, um, sprinkle with the remaining parmesan cheese and dot with the small pieces of butter. So,
Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'll leave these to, these ones here to cool and then I'll freeze them before I put the lids on, the ones that I'm going to freeze. Otherwise this will all just stick to the... Um, otherwise that sauce will just stick to the, um, the lid. I'm not going to put all this on because if you remember it said 100 to 200 grams of parmesan. So I did grate up the full 200, but the rest I'm just going to freeze. And I'll be back. Um, I'm going to put this one in the oven because it's the fullest. And I'll be back when it's time to taste. I'm going to, I'm going to put a few little bits of butter on top. Oh yeah, so how long do we cook it? Bake for 30 to 40 minutes at 180 degrees. And then you need to allow your um, lasagna, when you take it out of the oven, you need to let it um, sit for a 15 to 20 minutes. Otherwise, the layers, when you try to cut it, the layers slide all over the place. Um, so if you let it sit, then it, it, it firms up and then it cuts properly. Righty, I'll be back um, when we're ready to taste. Righty, so we, we baked that for, I don't know, 30 to 35 minutes. Might have even been 40 minutes. And it's been resting here for um, 20 minutes. So we're just going to... I'm going to cut this into four pieces. And I'm going to see if I can get one out without killing the, the lasagna. Oops. Look at that. Right here. nice layers. Let's give it a taste. Mm. That is so yummy. I love the fresh pasta. Um, and that um, bolognese sauce recipe I prefer it with extra vegetables, like less mince and extra vegetables. And I always, I always add capsicum. So anyway, so I've got this. This is for tea tonight, then we'll have some left over for tomorrow. And then I've got two more like this to go in the freezer um, for us for a later time. Right here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please give it a thumbs up, pop over to my channel and subscribe, and I really hope I'll see you next time.